Thousands of tourists are still trapped in Cabo trying to get home after that Category 3 hurricane hit Mexico on Sunday. The Cabo area, which is a huge tourist attraction, especially for people here in the Bay Area, was hit very hard. An estimated 26,000 tourists are stranded and the locals are suffering with trying to clean up. 5,000 people were transported out yesterday, many of them by the Mexican military planes. Those efforts continue through today. One Bay Area woman and her mother got out of Cabo before the storm hit, but it wasn't easy. Crown Force Dan Kerman joins us now with their harrowing ordeal. Dan. Well, Pam, some very quick thinking on the part of the resort got that woman from Blackhawk and her mother and the rest of the guests at this resort out before the storm hit. But as you mentioned, the trip back to the U.S. was a bit of an ordeal. We'd never been to Mexico, and we were just like, let's go to Cabo. It sounds fantastic. What started as a mother-daughter getaway to Cabo quickly turned into a run-for-your-life scenario and for Eva Prokopchuk and her mom. We, we were there just to relax, and we kind of got almost a vacation from hell. This is the pool of the resort. They arrived at the Esperanza Resort on Thursday, and as Eva's pictures illustrate, they enjoyed the spoils of a relaxing warm weather getaway. That is until Sunday, when Hurricane Odile set its sights on the coast. It started getting a little rainy, a little windy, a little cloudy, but nothing nothing that would make you think that people's lives are in danger. But at 2 p.m., margaritas at the pool stopped, and guests were told everyone was being evacuated to San Diego, and buses would leave on the 26-hour journey in one hour. I was pretty scared. I was a little nervous. The drive itself began pretty well. But Monday morning, after some 20 hours on the bus, a busted radiator brought the trip to an abrupt halt. They just say, like, get off the bus, everybody off the bus right now. And we, we all run outside, and the first thing you smell, and you look around and you see smoke, like, billowing out the back of the bus. And this is the middle of the desert. Nobody has cell phone receptions. There's no buildings around. Fortunately, a local bus pulled up within 45 minutes and took the resort guests to the next town, where a third bus was waiting to take them to San Diego. By nightfall, they arrived in Tijuana, where they found out the driver and bus were not allowed to cross the border. And they say everybody has to get off the bus. We have to take all of our stuff, all of the suitcases off the bus. A fourth bus did arrive, and they made it to San Diego. Total travel time, 30 hours. It was definitely an adventure getting out of there, but I, I'm really grateful for how quickly they acted. Now, Eva says it's frightening how close they got to being stranded in Cabo with no electricity. She says her thoughts are now with the people who work at the resort who are now dealing with the aftermath of the storm.